Hello, this is Miss Mara, and I am here for the Global Read Aloud. We are so lucky that all of the books are by Jacqueline Woodson because she is extremely talented, and this book is amazing. As I read this book, think about what fences you would like to take down in your lives. This is a great book for adults and for children, and it sends a wonderful message. So I'm thrilled to read it to you. It's the 10th anniversary edition of this book. It was re-released. It is um, written by Jacqueline Woodson and the illustrations are by E.B. Lewis, who you will see is an extremely talented illustrator. That summer, the fence that stretched through our town seemed bigger. We lived in a yellow house on one side of it. White people lived on the other. And Mama said, don't climb over that fence when you play. She said it wasn't safe. That summer, there was a girl who wore a pink sweater. There she is. Each morning, she climbed up on the fence and stared over at our side. Sometimes I stared back. She never sat on that fence with anybody. That girl didn't. Once when we were jumping rope, she asked if she could play. And my friend Sandra said no, without even asking the rest of us. I don't even know what I would have said. Maybe yes, maybe no. That summer, everyone and everything on the side of that fence seemed far away. When I asked my mama why, she said, because that's the way things have always been. Sometimes when me and mama went into town, I saw that girl with her mama. She looked sad sometimes, that girl did. Don't stare, my mom said. It's not polite. It rained a lot that summer. On rainy days, that girl sat on the fence in a raincoat. She let herself get all wet and acted like she didn't even care. Sometimes I saw her dancing around in puddles, splashing and laughing. Mama wouldn't let me go out in the rain. That's why I bought you rainy day toys, my mama said. You stay inside here where it's warm and safe and dry. But every time it rained, I looked for that girl, and I always found her somewhere near the fence. Someplace in the middle of the summer, the rain stopped. When I walked outside, the grass was damp, and the sun was already high up in the sky. And I stood there with my hands up in the air, and I felt brave. See, hands up, and I felt free. A beautiful picture. He's an amazing illustrator. I got close to the fence and that girl asked me my name. Clover, I said. My name's Annie, she said. Annie Paul. I live over yonder, she said, by where you see the laundry. That's my blouse hanging on the line. She smiled then. She had a very pretty smile. And then I smiled and we stood there looking at each other smiling. It's nice up on this fence, Annie said. You can see all over. I ran my hand along the fence. I reached up and touched the top of it. A fence like this was made for sitting on, Annie said. She looked at me sideways. My mama said I shouldn't go on the other side, I said. My mama says the same thing, but she never says nothing about sitting on it. Neither did mine, I said. That summer, me and Annie sat together on that fence, and when Sandra and them looked at me funny, I just made believe I didn't care. There she is. Some mornings, my mama watched us. I waited for her to tell me to get down from that fence before I break my neck or something. She never did. I see you made a new friend, she said one morning, and I nodded and mama smiled. That summer, me and Annie sat on the fence and watched a whole wide world around us. One day, Sandra and them were jumping rope near the fence and asked if we could play. I don't care, Sandra said. And when we jumped, Sandra and me were partners the way we used to be. When we were too tired to jump anymore, we sat up on the fence, all of us in a long line. Someday somebody's gonna come and come along and knock this old fence down, Annie said. And I nodded, yeah, 
I said someday. So there is a wonderful Bloomfield connection to this story. The illustrator, E.B. Lewis, was out looking to illustrate this book and looking for ideas for little girls. And there was a Bloomfield family that was on vacation with their daughter. And E.B. Lewis approached them and asked if their daughter could be the model for the little girl in this book. And that's how it became a Bloomfield connection to this wonderful book. I encourage you all to read it and to think about how you can knock down fences in your lives. Take care and be well.